Hello and welcome. In this lesson, I will teach you how command execution works. Many websites make use of command line calls to read files, send emails, and perform other native operations. If your website transforms untrusted input into shell commands, you need to carefully filter these inputs. Let's say that you have a website that is using the nslookup command to find information about a specific domain, then print the results to the user. And since this input which is named domain is not filtered, then it is vulnerable to command execution. Any user with malicious goals can exploit this vulnerability and break the security of the website. Here is the hacker mal knows that your website is based on PHP and he will try to hack your application using the command execution flow. First, he will try to test the input with the right way by adding a normal domain name such as google.com. As you can see, here is our input with its value, domain equal google.com. The hacker now will try to modify the input and put some malicious commands. Since this is a Linux machine, he used the OR operator with the command echo to print something with the original command. As you can see, he was able to print the word hacked after the original result. He can now do more commands using this flow and take control over the whole server. He can execute the popular Linux command etc slash password to extract sensitive data. This is a very dangerous flow. If you found it in a web application, you can really hack the whole thing easily. 